Hello. I didn't see you there. How's your day going? Ah, my name is Greg Sims, and I'll be talking to you about homework. All right? Oh. Homework. Homework can be defined as a task assigned to students by teachers that are intended to be carried out during non-school hours. All right? So, with my project, I looked at three sources. Education.com, Time for Kids, and Alfie Cohn's article on homework. All right? So, with Education.com, it talks about the variations of homework, positive and negative effects about homework, and then research on homework at appropriate time to give the students homework as like an hour, half hour a day. Okay, the times for kids was those numbers two one, and it's views on positive facts on homework. So they're strictly just talking about the good uh, facts about giving homework. Then Alfie Cohn, her, his article is all about rethinking homework. All right, so with the positive effects, we'll start there. Positive, negative, and giving homework. So we'll start on positives, like I said. It's a very important part of education. It, um, assignments can be varied in many ways. They can be skills area covered, they can be levels of difficulty, improving retention and understanding academic materials, and then homeworks can also improve student study skills towards, uh, towards tests or anything to deal with schools. All right, now also it's by showing real life problems. So in math and social studies, it talks about the current events. It could talk about um, like taxes and discounts. Um, another thing is teaching students that uh, learning can take place besides school. So if you have homework, it's great to have students at the high school level learn about something and take it home and then actually talk about it the next day. Or if you look at the middle school schedule or the, the stuff, you talk about giving a lesson such as math and then having them practice it at home. It also promotes indiv uh, independence and responsible character traits such as giving homework and having the responsible, uh, responsibility to doing it and come and bringing it back the next day. Homework can also improve parents in the school process and uh, enhancing their application understanding towards what goes on in the school. So all the parents, they want to see what this child's doing each day. And giving the child homework, it, it shows the parents exactly what's going on each day. And then they do better on tests, the studies show, such as education.com says it, and same time for kids, both said, Doing homework improves test scores. Um, it has to be the right amount of time, though. Like I'll go over later to give homework. There's a formula used. Um, homework uh, less it affects test scores. Like I said, it or it's organized. It manages time and masters new skills. So giving homework, I'm not saying every night, but mostly every night, it enhances the school, uh, the students' memory uh, memory of each topic. Teachers give two reasons. One, the governments now require students to meet a higher uh, standard for and to achieve all these goals teachers now talk about giving homework the next one is parents want to see the child do so good on all these nation tests and universities which um, like every every parent wants their child to go to the Ivy League school and homework is a starting point to it it helps it also helps good study habits which studying for tests is very important as well um, then the last one it recognizes that learning can take somewhere else in home like I said it's not just school based. It's also you can go at home and you can learn and then bring it back into school. Then the second point is the negative effects on homework, which this talks mostly about Alfie Cohn and she says or he says it's more frustration, um, exhaustion, and he went off on said it's because the amount is that is given to students is so much more, which is actually false. Um, it also gives less time for activities. Um, so like sports are very important, athletics is very, like I said, athletics is very important in a child's life. It teaches them all the different things. It teaches them to be teamwork, it teaches them how to move around, run, exercise is good. Um, they also lose interest in homework. If a teacher gives them two hours, three hours a night of homework, they get bored and then they get frustrated and they don't want to do it anymore. Also, parents hate the role of enforcing homework. So it make it easier on the parents and just... Um, don't, don't let them just say, hey, come on, do your homework, do your homework, do your homework for so long. Um, the another one is evidence of Cohn says there's no experience that homework in elementary school and middle school are needed, which um, there's other, the two studies I just showed, Times for Kids and Education.com, both said that, uh, that homework in middle school and elementary school are important. Um, there's no study that's uh, a that believes that homework builds character and teaches good study habits. That's all that he says, which, as I showed the two points before, they contradict hard. 
Um, they leads to boredom, which I said before. Um, the parents' involvement, parents step in too much and do the child's homework, which you see that a lot. The parents now take apart the, uh, the student's projects. So if a teacher gives a project to a middle school or another school, most of the time, if it's really, really good, the parents stepped in and they did a lot of it. Um, disadvantage is home because they have difficulty completing the homework. Like there's some students, there's some uh, parents that they don't know half the stuff's going on. So it frustrates them as well as the student. Okay, so now we're going to talk about giving homework. The Times, the Times uh, for Kids gave this formula uh, that says it is, um, in third grade, you times this by 10, which would be 30, and that is 30 minutes of homework per uh, third grade. And for fifth grade, it should be 50, uh, 50 minutes a night. Then the next one that Times Kid also said was the amount of homework given. From Times, uh, studies show that students have no more homework than the parents did when they were in school. And then the past few decades have suggested that schools, um, American schools, are overloading kids with more and more homework, which is totally false. They're actually homework loads have not changed over the past 30 years. Typical elementary school students have 30 to 40 minutes of homework every night, and high school students have about an hour of homework a night, according to Times for Kids. This is the same average as 1984. Since the, uh, the National Parent Teacher Association, or the PTA, came up with this equation, which I just talked about, the, 30, uh, the third grade times 10, which is 30 minutes a night, and, um, but just remember that uh, if you are an elementary or a middle school and high school teacher, that don't give every student the full amount because they also have uh, classes in, if you're in the math teacher, they're going to have social studies homework, they're going to have health homework, they're going to have all that homework. So just be in mind that they're going to be having other homework too. All right? That does it for me. See you next time, knuckleheads.